Hi, I'm Deanna and this is Jackie. Welcome to Glowing Peace. Today we're here with another devotional. Um, I think I'm going to put this under note to self, all of these because I may be talking to y'all. This is for me. If ain't nobody going to be blessed from this video, it's going to be me. So today's message is you do not dim your light to seem more palpable to others. I'm going to read that again. You do not dim your light to see more palpable to others. Okay, like always, we're going to begin with the scripture. Mark 4, 21 through 29. Jesus is telling the parable of the candle. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's just, that's basically what it's about. And he said unto them, Is a candle brought to be put under a bushel or under a bed, and not to be set on a candlestick? So that's Mark 4, 21. So the light of Christ is not meant to be hid or concealed, but displayed proudly. This does not mean super evangelizing, but openly living a life that reflects Christ's love and purpose. So what I mean by super evangelizing, you want to be careful that in your zeal or in your passion for Christ that you it doesn't turn into zealotry because then that truly means you're insecure in your faith. If every two minutes it's a, oh, look at me or look look how much I love the Lord, then, then who are you doing it for? Are you doing it to get the world's approval? Are you doing it for so they, the world can see how holy you are? Or are you doing it to honor God? Because that's not what honors God. Just living your life, doing what he says, honoring God's word and being uh, an excellent person awesome person in Christ. Just normal things. That is what pleases God. You put in scripture on your Instagram bio when you couldn't care less about the word. God doesn't care about that. Trust God sees right through you. Your pretentiousness is just that. Like, who are you trying to fool? Okay. Do not, but also do not let the world shame your identity in Christ. His light is your strength. Be unapologetic in your faith as it sets you apart from darkness. Don't be ashamed of living for Christ. It is getting, the spiritual atmosphere is getting a lot darker. And true people in the word, I'm not talking about the IG influencer that puts Bible quotes in her stories. I'm not talking about her. I'm talking people who are doing their best, trying to obey the word. It is getting hard. It is getting so hard to do what is right because the world done flip turned upside down. What is good is bad. What's bad is good. Modesty is a lost art. Things, you know, that seem common and seem like normal today, it's it's not. So you want to be careful that you're not swept up with worldly things and not drawn away by flesh and your own temptation because that's not what's going to bring you salvation and that's not what's going to bring you peace. Not on this earth. So be unapologetic in your faith because why should you care? Why do you care what people think? Oh, they're making fun of you. Oh, they're saying you this. Who cares? Like, who cares? Don't nobody care about these people who are on a uh, on a fast track to hell? Don't nobody care. You let the world do what the world wants to do. You be unapologetic in your faith, but also you don't have to prove anything. Meaning, if someone asks you if you're Christian, yes. Yes, I am. And what about it? You don't have to then, oh, yes, and I know this scripture, and I know this scripture, and I know that, and I fast all the time. No one cares. Like, some things you keep to yourself, but it doesn't mean you are unashamed of who you are in Christ. Okay? We understand each other that there is a balance. Okay. Okay, so this is Mark 4, 25, what I'm going to read. For he that hath to him shall be given, and he that hath not from him shall be taken even that which he hath so this does not refer to physical or monetary things right it's not about money or whatever and stuff like that but it's about spiritual gifts from god if you're walking in the light which is god's grace and favor then grace and favor will be continually added to your life however if you do not seek and or lack the light of christ you will grow weaker and become spiritually emptier. And by emptier, it means not filled with the Holy Spirit. That is why the word says, if the light in you be darkness, how great that darkness is. I think that's what it says. 
Um, I'm gonna look it up. Yes, because the world may be filled with this cool light, but it's really darkness and, and it's really emptiness. And if emptiness is the absence of the Holy Spirit, you will not be, you might be fine now, but eventually it's gonna wear off and it's gonna feel like such a huge hole in your spirit. And you're not gonna really know what to do because you spent your whole life chasing the world. It's not to pass judgment, it's just saying the world makes everything look cool and reality leads you down to a path of nothingness. Remember, the world may view their darkness as light, but anything devoid of the Holy Spirit is darkness. It will never be acceptable by the world's standards to shine brightly through the Lord, but this jealousy is due to their lack of peace and endless torment. I wrote this a while ago. I should have put dates, but and I didn't even write it. The Holy Spirit was spitting when he when he wrote it through me because I don't remember this, guys. I'm gonna be real. I don't remember writing this. I'm gonna read that again because now I gotta read it for me again. Hold on. It said it will never be acceptable by the world's standards to shine brightly through the Lord, but this jealousy is due to their lack of peace and endless torment. The world often mocks what they don't understand. They'll look at you, they'll look at your light and be like, wow, okay. Even if you don't say anything, even if you don't, you don't have to say that you are in Christ. They'll just look at you and there's something about you that the world don't, doesn't like because they don't have it. Because they may have this, they may have all the followers in the world, they may go on all the trips. They may be, you know, booked and busy and packed and going around, but they don't have the one thing that you need in this life that is a constant, the peace of Christ. If you don't have that, I promise you, you don't have anything. And that's where their jealousy comes from. That's why they might mock you, ridicule you, or just altogether not talk to you, which is my personal experience. It's never been a mock, well, to, to an extent, but it's more like, just being ignored and not talked to trust they notice you they see your light this may happen to you they don't talk to you or why don't i have friends why don't i have so a lot of people that i talk to because the light in you was so precious and rare that not too many people in the world they're not going to want to be attracted to that they're going to be repelled from it because the brighter you shine and the brighter you shine is the darker they appear to be and it only does all he does is your light exacerbates their darkness so of course they're not going to want to be around you because they they can't get that light until they surrender themselves to christ yes that is a them problem so let it be a them problem you stay in the light of christ because it, that is what's going to carry you okay okay what else oh yes continue to glow in god despite what the world thinks the world is going to have opinions let them have opinions let them be offended. Who the heck cares? They're walking down a path of destruction. You're walking down a path of light and it's hard and it's uncomfortable at times and there's spiritual warfare, but warfare and being on Christ beats living in the world and being tormented by demonic spirits and not even knowing it. Okay? Okay. They came for Christ's light, so they'll come for yours doy of them make that makes perfect sense like christ was just doing jesus christ holy messiah things healing people miracles all in the day's work he was just doing what he does being a healer being a prince of peace of love and they hated him they hated him so of course they're gonna hate you because if you're of christ they're not gonna like you this does not, I, I know you're probably watching this and you're thinking, oh my God, but the girl I know who was an influencer and has like 50 million or that's 50K sub, uh, uh, followers. And you know, she, she does kind of worldly things, but she says she's a Christian. Okay. And so what? Like, first of all, try the spirit because if people can call themselves whatever they want to call themselves, you know, in your heart and in your spirit, you can tell who is truly walking this walk. You can tell three things. Who is walking this walk? Who's not really walking the walk and in the world? And the third kind of gray area, not gray area, but who is being pretentious? You can tell the people who 
got something to prove. This is why I don't consider even this evangelizing. Even what I'm saying now and throughout my channel, I'm going to share things in the word that I've learned. This is not to convince you that God is real. This is not to convince you that you need to read the word. The word works for those who accept Christ or want to accept Christ. So my goal isn't to get you to want him. My goal is to help you and myself and provide a form that we can all come together and grow in our faith. It is not to convince you that God is real. It's not to convince you of faith in general because I know he is real because just as I know Jackie is real and sits right next to me and my parents exist because they're in their other room and the sky is blue, the grass is green, God is real. This is not something I will ever debate the existence of God. Not on this channel, channel not the comments, not any platform mine, not in real life. Understood? Okay. So lastly, oppression from the world, opposition, sorry, from the world means closeness to God. Every believer, every person of God is going to face opposition from the world because Satan rules the world. And Satan is, and, Christ, and God are literally oil and water. They don't mix. You are never going to get approval from this world. Be, you know what? Be careful. If you start getting approval from worldly people and validation from worldly people, be a little mindful to make sure that what you're doing is of God. I'm not saying that if someone comments on your picture saying you look pretty, like all of a sudden take the picture down. I'm saying just be careful because you don't, validation from the world isn't necessarily a good thing. It's not a bad thing, but it's not necessarily a good thing. You have to make sure everything you're doing is unto God, even the little things that you wouldn't even expect. So just overall, right, don't dim your light, okay? Christ paid such a heavy price for you to be, to have his light. So why would you dim it? Because you're trying to fit in? As I'm saying this, y'all, I'm saying this to myself because I'm going to go back and watch this video when I feel like I have to, like, subdue my Christness to gain approval. And I don't have to, nor should I. And, you know, it's summertime. And it's like, oh, I want to fit in. I want to do this. I'm like, I don't care. At this point, I'm getting to a place where I don't care about fitting in. If I'm not like, I guess I'm not like then. God likes me. God loves me. We're not going to let our light be dimmed by the opinions of others. And we're going to live our lives unto the Lord, even though it is hard. And we're going to keep doing it. And um, let me know if you guys want to join my Zoom meeting that I will soon start called Glow Patrol, where we each talk about our glow up journeys and hold each other accountable in faith and where we are in our faith. I don't expect everyone to come here to be in the same place. You could be a seasoned Christian, a newbie, an inquiring Christian, someone who just never really thought about it and just stumbled on this video. More like God directed you here, but okay, okay. Um, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.